Hey, Dummy Nation, we're back. It's been a while, but we're back. Dwayne and I are here at Huckett Disc Golf Course in Prince Edward Island. Charlie was nice enough to let us camp out last night on his property. So here we are, early round, me and Dwayne, Let's go. All right, so here's hole one. It's par three. Um, I believe it's around just over 320 feet, I think. Um, and Brandon's throwing a backhand turnover. What a great shot. If that does not fade out, it is perfect. And he hits a tree down there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a good spot. I'm happy. All right, Dwayne's going forehand raptor. Paul Uliberry showed out. It's gonna placement shot. Placement shot. Not bad. Right in the middle up there. Yeah, easy par. Doing his range finding. We got 210 to the pin up there. Sending your screen. Uh, no wind to speak of. Yeah, we played some rounds yesterday. It was quite windy. Today, not so windy, so different game today. Dwayne throwing that sensei. It is fading out on him. Not what you want to see. Brandon approaching his drive. Pretty nice spot. And do a nice forehand approach up to the basket here. Oh, I sawed it off early. Hits the tree. And he's safe. Think he'll make the putt? I got that one. We'll see. <laughs> so Dwayne is aiming up here. Hole one's basket. He's definitely got some work cut out for him. Right by the stump. Not too shabby. Dwayne's got an inside the circle putt. For his bogey. Nice putt, sir. See if I can make my putt. Bearing for the power and take a one stroke lead after one hole. Nice putt. Anyone who comes out here, make sure you bring lots. It's uh, lots of mosquitoes and black fly. But here we are at hole two. It's a par four, dog leg right. You can kind of see it on the sign. I'll get a little closer for you. So you really just want to have a little landing zone shot up there and leave you about 250 to the basket through a tunnel. Let's see what Brandon can do here, going with the forehand. I uh, sawed it off, but there's a little inside gap over there. He might have a line. Hole two. Typically, Dwayne would go with the forehand here. His finger is a little sore from abuse from yesterday. But here he is with the backhand. And he plays it beautifully, folks. Wow, what a shot, Dwayne. You're all the way around the corner. Perfect. Might have to throw those more often. <laughs> What'd you throw there? An underworld. Nice. Very understable seven speed. Good work, Dwayne. Here's Brandon's lie. The basket up in the distance there. Brandon said it's about 300 away. I'm not making it. Oh, so he's going to play a forehand. Let me get in a better position for this. Forehand around the trees. Nice. Short, left, 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 play. left himself maybe a jump putt to throw in attempt. All right, Dwayne is approaching his drive. 
Very well done. You see the basket up there through the trees a bit. 220? Yeah. Nice shot. Fuse. The fuse on the backhand turnover line. What a shot, Dwayne. Oh, just hit a tree. Just hit an early tree. Good turnover, though. Thank you. All right, Good. here's Brandon's shot, and uh, there's my shot. Uh, Brandon's look, I think, here is a little obstructed. Yeah, I got a lot of trees to deal with. Great layup. Good try. Good layup. There's Brandon. Should be a routine pair. Practice throw. <laughs> Good putt. <laughs> Nicely done, sir. Here we are at hole three. It's uh, a par three, a little bit of a dangerous green down there, and uh, it's about 240 feet from the tee. Yeah, anything right, you're down the hill, like and, 100 feet. Yeah, and way down there, there's actually a river far down, but it's hard to get to, so. Brennan ripping a putter off the tee. He's safe, he's short. You know, I'm happy with that. Yeah, a little bit of a death putt. We'll see if he runs it. Dwayne's got his buzz in his hand. The wind is picking up slightly. And it goes totally straight. A little bit short, but uh, great shot. Thank you. A little too low. All right. So here's Dwayne. Outside of circle one. Looks like he's going to run it, maybe. He went for it, and it did stay right below the basket. Definitely makeable range. See how much of a big run he puts on it. It's in. Nice butt. And he's gonna run it in because he's a butt. Nice butt. Thanks. Alright, here's Dwayne's up shot. Little top in par here. Nicely done, Dwayne. Good par. Thank you. Off to number four. Brandon still has the tee box because I can't seem to get him on a hole. <laughs> um, he's throwing a forehand raptor here. This is a par four. Um, it's actually a dog leg right and then back to the left, so it's an S shot. Let's see. Just a placement shot off the tee here. Just trying to get halfway up that hill. Let's see. Yep. Looks like he's in a good spot. That's where I want to be. Right. Dwayne making his disc selection. Looks like he's going raptor as well. Kisses his broken finger goodbye because this is going to destroy it. Oh no. Oh no, indeed. Oh, it's falling back. Base of the hill. I can play it from there. It's not... Reapplying bug spray. All right, here we see Dwayne looking at his lie, looking at not many options, honestly. 
You can see the basket there, middle of your screen, through the trees, top of the hill. Let's see what Dwayne wants to do. Looks like he's going backhand. Played it out wide. I think he was just playing, trying to play a hyzer. That was my guess. He probably played an explorer. Uh, instinct. Instinct. There you go. Overstable fairway. Brandon with a great drive here. Let's get a gap. He's gonna range. He's gonna range find it and see what he's got. Only like 200, but it's playing like 250 Ooh. or more. <laughs> oh. Directly into the tree. I don't think that was the line he was going for, folks. In the interest of time, we've approached Brandon's first. Even though I'm further away over in those bushes, he's going to throw first. Oh, Sorry. changing his mind. Switches to the zone. It's the gap. Oh, a nice shot. Funnels right up by the basket. Great recovery. Hey. All right, Dwayne just cleaned off his disc here. He's uh, He's got a bit of a shot, a little out of position. Might be going tilt. Yeah, he goes tilt, just hits it into the ground early. All right, Dwayne approaching his third shot. So this is for par here, his fourth shot. Going sensei. Nice little layup, get in. Oh, wow. Great shot. Thank you. All right, Dwayne about to tap in here for his bogey. Great tap in. If he misses this, he should quit this golf. <laughs> That's not nice. Some people do miss those. But you and don't. You shouldn't quit this golf. But you don't. <laughs> well, I do sometimes. But actually, it's a good point, Brandon. Never quit. Never quit. Never give up. <laughs>
Dwayne is getting way ahead of himself. <laughs> Make it the tee box. He hasn't even thrown his drive. Ruby will help me. Rainbow Ruby. SPZ 11. SPZ 3. <laughs> Looking not bad. Oh, he's getting into those trees. And in the river. There is a river there. He might be in it. <laughs> Can you say jinxed yourself? Oh, you're in trouble. So, there's my disc, everybody. Right in the river. And Dwayne's in the river over there, but we'll get to him in a sec. So we've determined Brandon crossed in right around here. We'll go get his disc after, because we have to get it from the other side. Uh, the basket is up in there, if you can see it. Let's see what he's gonna do. Forehand work. Great shape. It's right up there for a pretty decent bogey look. Not bad. Happy with that. Being in. Great yeah. shot. Thanks. Brandon's going through the woods. I'm gonna try to see him through the trees here, maybe. There he is. Fishing up that undertaker. Oh, he's hooked under a tree. Let's see how this oh. plays out. I think he's got a good grab on it. The, the current's trying to take his disc away from him. This isn't good, folks. He could lose it forever. All right, guys, I'm gonna have to let you go here. We'll give you the result later. I'm gonna go help him out. All right, so after a hard fought battle, Brandon got his disc back. <laughs> Fuck you, River. <laughs> <laughs> She's drowning, Dwayne, you gotta save her. Out of boy. So baskets up there on the hill, as per usual. <laughs> Dwayne playing the backhand turnover sensei, looking really good, and he's just shy of the basket. Great shot, Dwayne. Thank you. All right, so Dwayne's at his approach shot. A little bit of distance left to cover. Sends it a little bit long. Player two, always better. Here's Brandon. Bogey save chance. See if he can putt better than I can because I'm terrible. Great putt. Save my bogey. <laughs> Double bogey. Alright, so hole number seven here. We didn't range find it, but it's probably around 500 feet, maybe 450. Uh, OB left of this little shrubbery. Brandon's going with a forehand. I'm gonna scooch over to the other side to get a better angle. Looks like a wraith. That nice, reliable fade on the wraith. Perfect, right in bounds. Nice shot. Thanks. All right, Dwayne is going backhand. Escape. See if you can keep it in the middle. That's all you're really looking to do here. And it's gonna get down. Oh, just stayed in bounds. Thing did not turn over like I thought it would. Ooh, that was close to the OB. That's scary. All right, so we're here at Dwayne's Drive. Just stayed in bounds. Taking his meter in. From the OB, um, Dwayne is range finding it. What do we got to the pin, Dwayne? 215. 215 to the pin. I'm guessing he's going to pick his sensei up shot on a backhand. Yeah, it looks like it is. See if he can just keep this one nice and straight into the basket. See what he side decides to do here. Little hyzer action. Came up a little short, but he'll have an outside the circle putt for birdie. Yeah. It's a 
running probably 50 feet ahead of mine, so he's probably got a 170 in. Forehand zone. Oh, come back for him. Ooh. Not what I wanted. Flirting with the OB, but he's inbounds and got a birdie putt. All right, so here's Dwayne's birdie look. Circle two, for sure. Ooh, leaves himself a little bit to be desired. Let's see. All right, so here's Brandon for his birdie look. Mine came up way outside. Let's see if he can capitalize. He's got a good round going, so. Great putt. Playing really well today. All the practice yesterday really paid off. All right, here we got Dwayne for his par. About a 25 footer. He got big putted by his big brother. Forehand. Goes for the risky play. Slamming the forehand in in frustration. Could have cost him an extra stroke, folks. Uh, strokes don't matter. <laughs> Eight. It's par four through the woods. Go down to the left and then right back up the hill to the right. A nice straight shot down the hill. A little skip. Might be a little guarded approach, but he should be able to make it up there for birdie. Let's see what Dwayne's gonna do here. Digging in the bag. It's going with a oh, photon. photon. Yeah, it's a photon. I'm still learning MVP stuff. Oh no, he went early. Potentially still safe though. Yeah. Okay, Dwayne's got a shot. A little bit of shrubbery. He's going up the hill here. Not terrible positioning. Not much you can do from in there. All right, so there's my disc straight ahead of Brandon. And, uh, but I'm there in two, he's here in one. The round's pretty much out of, out of reach. Never know, maybe he'll roll away 10 times. Huh. Going for a forehand up to the basket. Well, there's roll away number one. Come back down the road. What? Did you get that on camera? I got as much as I could. The trees are in the way. That's brutal. All right. Dwayne's third shot here. Going for the backhand sensei. And he played it just a little bit too straight. Missed this gap, I think. Rough day. So after that brutal roll away, Brandon's down here. Got a big uphill putt. Big Anheuser putt. Lands flat, that's the key. Mm -hmm. All right, Dwayne with a long uphill putt here. Come on, hit it. Oh, nice try. Nice try. Let's go tap these in. I'm glad I have a stress-free putt, but mine's for bogey. Brandon's got a power putt here, straight up the hill. Good putt. This camera makes it hard to actually show the elevation, but we're like walking up 45 degree angle or more. <laughs> it's pretty uphill. Nice work, sir. <laughs> Hole nine. Just, just over 300 feet, and uh, you can see the basket hopefully up there on the corner. Down to the left is trouble, into the trees is trouble. No OB, but 
It's a natural Hobie. We're gonna go with the forehand. Uh, not quite turned, it might be in the trees or it might be right on the edge. Good shot though. Right on the edge, that'll work. He'll have a play. Fingers too sore for the forehand. Mm. Burned it over into the trees. I'll have some work to get out of there. That's trouble. Okay, we found Dwayne's drive. He is in those trees there. Not ideal. And basket's still a ways away. Probably 150 to 200 away still. Yeah, probably 200. Great shot. Yeah. 25 feet away, 20 feet maybe. Good recovery. Yeah, really good. It's got a nice drive right up here. Yeah. Yeah. Easy approach to the basket. Don't imagine he's running it. With all that trouble. Nice shot. All right, here's Brandon for his par save. Airball to the right. Well, not airball. He hit some chains. I can't say airball. Now he's upset. He's going to go putt ahead instead of me. He takes the bogey. He's sad. So Dwayne here with about a 25 footer. Force power save and most importantly to get the tee. Great pot. Mm -hmm.